Hello Commanders, welcome to another Star Trek Fleet Command video. In today's video, I want to talk about token systems. The current system I'm in is Venice Alpha, which is located right here below Romulan Space. And the reason I want to talk about these is because people may be using these systems for um, for the three-star token systems, and how you get access to one of them is by taking out one of these Ferengi traders. I just popped in to see this before I started the video. So these Ferengi traders have what's called a Latinum Antique. Now this Latinum Antique you can use in the board refinery. And let me send a ship out real quick. And I want to show you a strategy that I've used in the past. So if we switch over to our explorers and let's grab the Franklin A. Now this strategy, you need the Franklin A and you need Jayla. And I know the sourcing for Jayla really has been awful, horrible. But if you do have Jayla, this is some uh, strategy you can use. Let me just scroll over to the J's. There she is, Jayla. My ship's strong enough, I'm not even worried about really adding anyone else to the ship. But if you look at her ability here, oops, that's the officer ability. If you look at the captain's maneuver, she increases the amount of resources you get from killing hostiles by 100%. So she's going to increase the, res or the loot from the hostiles. The great thing about this is, let's make sure that Trader is still in the system. It is. Hopefully we can get there before anyone snipes it. Let me show you. And yes, I'm going to use a token. I don't use these as much, but I wanted to show you guys and gals out there playing Star Trek Fleet Command. I wanted to show you the benefit here. Um, and I said I don't use much three star anymore. That's because I moved over to the four and five star arena. But this is still a huge benefit if you can stockpile on some of these. And you do give up a token that you could use to hunt Borg probes, but hopefully you can find a way to balance that. I think it's definitely worth the cost if you're trying to stock up on materials for spend events like the one we have, uh, the bonus refinery, excuse me, not spend event, the bonus refinery we have today. So as you can see, and let me show you, if I go to my Borg refinery, I wonder if it will show it here. I actually do not have any Latinum Antiques. I haven't used it for a while. Just like I said, I'm not using the three star. So you can see I have zero Latinum Antiques. Okay, so let's hop back in there and hopefully we can catch the Catch him before he disappears. Okay, he's right there. And one Latinum Antique. I'm going to attack it. This is huge because normally you only get one. But with this, it will double the amount of Latinum Antiques that you get. Okay, so hop over here. We'll click on the loot. Have a C and look. Two Latinum Antiques. Pretty neat. Okay, so then I can recall that. I'll bring it home, and then I'll have two. What could you do? I can use that sometime. Then you could, if you, we'll zoom in just a little bit here. But with these three systems here, pronounce these right or wrong, I don't know, but Myra, Foreign, and Peric. If I switch my view to mining, these are three star systems. And just to show you, if I hop into this system here, and I select my Antares, just to give you an idea, I'm mining at 370,000 per hour. Not too bad. Um, if I find a regular system, okay, so three star, let's just find what I mine here. So if I click on one of these gas nodes, 74,000 per hour. So huge, I mean, significant difference. In my server, because we typically, there's some, you know, some players who don't, but for the most part, a lot of players 
figure if they're going to a token system, they don't want to be hit so they don't hit other players. So if if your server is similar to that, then you may find success in this. If it's not, then maybe it won't work as well. But if it does, huge benefit. Um, I've I've left my miners in three star, four star, and five star token system overnight. Um, they've gotten zero, they haven't been hit, so <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, I've gotten quite a bit of resources that way. The other systems are over in the purple, Jem'Hadar slash Bajoran space. You get through the Bajoran loop. But here's the four-star systems. You've got your, let me switch this out here so you can see the name of the systems. Kotelli, Parada, and Cal Kalanon. And that's the gas, the, um, the ore, and the crystal. Now we can't see these unless I send a ship there. So what I'm going to do, just to give you an idea, is I'm going to send out, let me see here. We'll send out the crystal one. And so you will need for, basically for warp range and cargo space, you're probably going to need a G4 miner to get there. And so for me, I have a bunch of these. I've been saving them for a while. Um, but let me send my miner there and I'll, and I'll talk to you really quick here. <clears throat> I've been able to stock up really well on my reserves, um, and I still, I, I max my refines, which for G4 is a million per um, per pole if you're maxing out your three chest, um, twice a day, so a million in the morning, a million at night, so that's two million a day. But if I go in here and I either start in the morning and leave it overnight, or I start the day before, um, you know, let it fill up a few million and then leave it overnight. I can go the next morning and I have easily five or six million um, in raw that I've mined. And once again, these are token systems, so the speed is very quick. While we're waiting for that miner to pop over there, let me hop over to G5, which is slower. But as you can see, I've got 10.63 million <clears throat> that I've mined. Now, this is a G5 mine mining system and so you either have to have your g4 miners level up quite a bit or you need to have a nova and i happen to have a nova recently got that for going above 52 or above 50. um but right here 367,000, not bad i need to upgrade a little bit but something else to notice is look it's 49 million these nodes when they're fresh are 60 million size and so you could i, I literally sit on these nodes for like a day and a half to fill up my cargo so really nice. <clears throat> it's the miners about there. I will show you the G4. And it depends upon what one strategy you want to do is you want to get some G4 miners. Um, if you have three like I do, you can send one to each system overnight if you need to. Grab nine or ten million and then bring it home the next day. Um, once again, so a little bit faster here. My Miner's a little bit more upgraded. I'll hop on that node because then I can drain it in three minutes and then just sit on it like for the rest of the day. Um, if I go to my refineries, well, let's not hop to the refinery because I can only see the um, G5 stuff there. But let me hop to the materials and I'll show you this. So if I scroll down, gosh, Scopely, you really need to organize this better. It takes forever to scroll down to see what I want to see. So. Here's my raw. I mean, as you can see, I have plenty. Even for the bonus refiner, I'm 85 to 90 million raw G4 gas. I'm going to be sitting on that for a long time. I mean, for <laughs> I could sit on that for weeks. Or, well, if I max my refineries, maybe a week or two. But, I mean, that is plentiful. And G5, I'm slower at because I only have one miner that can reach there. But even then, I'm 26, 25, 42. Maybe I should have sent a different miner out, but at least I can get that above 50. I like to have mine just in case we go to war with an alliance. I like to have it at 50 million plus. That way I have plenty to, to get me through. Um, sometimes I'll slow down my refines just so I don't have to worry about it. But the strategy here works really well because what ends up happening is I don't have to I don't have to worry about mining for the most part my G4 or my G5. Um, there's the dailies you want to send out for if you've got your dailies you've got to meet. Uh, but other than that, I don't have to worry about my refines. 
Um, I can then focus on other things. I can focus on ISO, I can mine data, I can mine latinum. Uh, I just build a third fecia so I can just send three out instead of two. Um, the refines for that are getting kind of ridiculous too, but that's the thing is, you know, you if you need to do more, um, more things quicker, you just throw more ships at it. <laughs> so that's why I got three G4 miners. Um, maybe not the most efficient because of the cost of parts, but it's worked out pretty well. So my G4 miners have between uh, somewhere around, you know, 10 million, 9, 10 million. I think my Hydra, the gas G4 miner, uh, Federation miner has like 11 million. Um, so pretty good, you know. So if this works for you, I hope this is helpful, but it's been a huge help to me to really manage my gameplay and to make it so that I can have the resources I need to max out my refines. And some people say maxing refines is ridiculous and wasteful, but it's that extra chance to get a little bit more uncommon or to stock up on the common that you might need for something else. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions, comments, I'm trying to grow this channel. So leave them below in the comment section um, and continue to follow my content. And uh, we'll watch out for more videos that may be helpful to you and the rest of the Star Trek Fleet Command community. Thanks so much. Have a good day.